Well, today we have Ruby and Jasmine back in the kitchen. Are you glad to be back here? Jazzy, are you glad to be back in the kitchen? Yeah, and what about you, Ruby? <laughs> What's this then? <laughs> I know they're not quiet. They've not been quiet since they've been here. So today we was having a look at what some of your suggestions last week and we've decided we're going to have a go at making cornflake tarts, mini cornflake tarts. Now I have to surprise you, I've never had one until today and I have to say they're to die for. And when you were talking about them last week, I thought, mini cornflake tarts, what are they? But Karen used to work at the school and she used to say they used to be, what were they, your top? They were the top, if, if you said to the, the kids that you'd made your cornflake, cornflake tart and custard, oh, that went first. Mm -hmm. That was because they absolutely they loved, loved them. cornflake tart. Absolutely. So, Ruby and Jasmine have tasted them already, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Did you have a sneaky one before? Yeah? Did you have a sneaky cornflake tart before when we came in? Did you like them? Are we going to show everybody else to make them? Yeah? So, should we say some hellos to anybody? Me. She wants ice and sugar. She'll have to wait. <laughs> Strict instructions. Well, and you're got, hungry. <laughs> we've got lots of people saying hello to you all. Right, so say hello to everybody. So we've got any children watching. So this is Jasmine. Jasmine is four and Ruby is three. Yeah. So, um, and we're not going to tell you how old Carol is. Can we, Very old. What's the difference in, what's the age gap between these two? 18 months. 18 months. I kept telling it was nine months. I kept saying it's, it's, it's 18 months, is it? I think it's 18 months, I'm sure it's 18 months, yeah. I think nine months, I think Wesley might have just died. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's 18 months. So if, she, if she's four, she was four last June, so she'll be five this year and this one was three in December. Yeah, because you're big girls, aren't you? Missed out going back to school though. Anyhow, so we're here playing on a Thursday well, afternoon. Margaret Curtis, oh, we all love conflict tart and custard. Well, I've never heard of them. Can and you believe it? Samantha Goodwin went, oh, I've never tried it before. No, never heard of them myself. And uh, do you know what I think it is? My father was in the army. And we got, I, I shouldn't say this word, dragged around the world, but my father wanted to see the world. So every opportunity he could in the forces, he took us somewhere. So we went everywhere. What's up, babe? I know you're hungry. So we're going to make some of these for you to have in a minute. Okay, so um, anyhow, she's tired. I know. Can right, we hold say on. hello to Shelby Ray and Jacks? Oh, Shelby Ray and Jacks here again. They're Shelby watching, Ray yeah, and Jack. Give them a wave. So give them a wave. Hello, Ruby. Give them a wave. And we've got a very special lady over in America. We've got Peggy Gray watching oh. all the way from California. Wow! Hello, Peggy Gray. Hey, hi. So Ruby is a little bit tired. Come on, what's up, Jess? What's up? Shall we cut right. some <laughs> So let's start making some tarts. So Karen's put the recipe on the website. Okay, just hold on, Jazz, a minute. 
icing sugar. We're going to have some icing sugar. I'm going to get some icing sugar out to let you have a little dip. Can you get some icing sugar out? So anyhow, we forgot. We, we want forgot. Icing oh, you see the smiles now. We want icing sugars. See, they know how to play, Grandma. So let me just show you what they what they look like. So look at them. So there you go. So there was three on here, but Jasmine and Ruby and Grandma and Karen have all shared one between four of us, didn't we? We had one earlier. So we're going to put those out of the way and we'll cut, we'll cut them open for you later. Then Karen has wrote the recipe up for you and she's put, take a nostalgic trip down memory lane to your school dinner days with these delicious cornflake tarts served with hot custard as a heartwarming dessert for your afternoon tea. Well, I hate at school dinners, but apparently you lot loved them. So here we go. So school, first of I was all... I school chef and... Uh, <laughs> you went mad for them. Ooh, right, okay. <laughs> dip, dip. Dip, dip. Thanks, Karen. Right, dip, dip. Daddy said I'm not allowed to put it on the pink board anymore. Because you two were licking the pink board, weren't you? So Daddy said you've got to do dip dips. So whatever we make in the kitchen, do not worry. It goes back to Jasmine and Ruby's house. Karen and I have a little bit. Terry takes some as well. We don't care. <laughs> what what flavour is that, Jazz? Can you taste it? What flavour is it? Vanilla. No. It's your favourite? Orange. Orange. Oh, that's not your favourite, is it? Do you like it? Orange, orange. Because it's orange. That's orange. Very good. Right, so we've already made some um, dough as well, but we're going to show you how to make the dough. But you do need to put it in the fridge for a little while and then bring it back out. So that's ours for when we're ready. Okay, and the girls have been kneading it again. So you can see these funny marks on it. That's where the girls have been squashing it back warm nice again. <laughs> it so what we're going to do is we're going to get our bowl. So how we're going to make it is, make the pastry base, so I have to read the recipe out to you because I've never made these before. Um, so it's 150 grams of plain flour and Karen's put in 30 grams of sugar and crumbs, um, strawberry, no, just you put it. strawberry, velvet, vanilla. I missed the word strawberry, don't worry. <laughs> right, yeah, so I'm yes. a bit confusing, can have we no. developed a new flavour there? Not yet. <laughs> so 30 grams of velvet vanilla, because I thought I'm sure that's what she said she was yeah, using, but she's put strawberry in. And then, um, uh, or flavour of your choice. Now, you can use just normal sugar or icing sugar. It's entirely up to you. Um, they do actually, if you want, you can use brown sugar as well. So again, it's any type of sugar. But we, but, you know, we're sugar and crumbs, so we have to use our flavoured icing sugars. 80 grams of unsalted butter and 30 mils of cold water, okay? So the method is, so just, so the method is, let's have a little look. So these are on the website and Karen will go and sort out a spelling stuff afterwards. So it, put the yeah. flour and natural flavoured icing sugar into a mixing bowl and add the unsalted butter chopped into cubes. So it looks like grandma might be making these then. So we're going to add them in there. Oh, we're waving? Yay. Or was you waving at the dust? Was you waving at them or was you waving at the dust? Yeah. Oh, you're waving at the dust. Do you not give everybody a quick wave? Hi everybody. Say hi everybody. What's that funny face you pull in there? <laughs> right, thanks Karen. So then we're going to pop in the butter. Right, Ruby Jasmine, do you think you could just wash your hands for a minute? Okay. Grab my wife hair hands and just move your sugar balls out of the way. Done. Done? So move your sugar balls out of the way. Done. So done, done. Right, just leave that there. Hey, just leave that there a minute. So what we're going to do is Who's going to do this first? Me. So you've got to squeeze it. So look it. You've got to squeeze it. So you do it there, Ruby. Put your hands in and Grandma will help you. So we've got to squeeze all the butter into the flour. Yeah? <laughs> so keep squeezing it, squashing it into the flour. You can do it with two hands if you want, Ruby. You You just want to do one hand. Okay then, fair enough. Grandma, do the other hand then. So you do one hand, Grandma do the other hand. Yeah, that looks like we've got two hands in the bowl then, doesn't it? <laughs> hey? Instead of looking like three-handed people, you might think we've got very strange hands there. Look at that big hand in your little hand, Ruby. Look, Ruby, look in the, look in the screen there, look. Look at Ruby's little hand, yeah. Put your little hand on back to mine. Wow, look at that, Ruby. How big is Grandma's hand? So, Atusha, uh, the recipe is on the website already and you can re-watch this video anytime you want when yeah, it's finished. Course. And Jasmine's not helping because she's too busy. 
Double dipping. Use your other finger. Use your other finger. Oh. Use your other finger, not that one. It's nice when you get, you get more with this finger. That, one, that finger, yeah. Ooh, That's yeah, the right finger. You get finger. more with that one. Right, keep squeezing. You keep squeezing it all in, all the butter. Jenny says she's going to miss you too when you go back to school. Are ya? <laughs> <laughs> so you've got to keep squeezing the butter into the flour and you keep till it's like little fine breadcrumbs. We've got any other little children watching us except for Shelby Ray and Jack. So anybody else watching us? There we go. And have we got a nice audience watching today, Karen? We have. So here we go. You're doing a good job there, Ruby. Ruby's doing all the work while Jasmine eats all the sugar. Now, you do know that Jasmine is a sugar addict and she's not to have it, really. But she knows that when she comes to grandma's, grandma's don't you? Don't be looking at them with that cheeky face. Hey? Because you're not allowed it at home, are you? It doesn't matter if you're hiding your daddy's son and watch this video later. Her daddy gave me a telling off the other week, especially when she was licking all the stuff off the pink board. He went, Mum, for goodness sake, have control of the kids. Oh, Nikki says, Ruby, you're doing a fantastic job. Yeah. She's pouring it all over Grandma's hands. <laughs> it's going to get nice and fine. <laughs> right, so you keep stroking it. So look at it like this. There we are. So it's all crumbled in. Ruby, show them under the camera there. Show them like that. See, look. It's all crumbled in nice. Right, so, Ruby, pat your hands off now. That's it. Pat your hands off. Take it all off your hands. No, not on my hands. Take it all off. Right, you get your cloth now. You get your cloth. Right, you wipe your hands. Because we've got, we've got pastry all over it. So I'm going to give you the water, Ruby, because Jasmine has just disappeared under the counter with the sugar. Jasmine, are you not coming back? <laughs> You're not coming back. Are you having another dip dip? Right. Oh, I think Grandad's watching because <laughs> tell Jazzy I'm watching with big eyes. Is Grandad keeping an eye on you? <laughs> right, Ruby, do you want to pull the water in for Grandmother? <laughs> so you pull the water in. So, way, that's good there. Oh, right. Dog. Wow, that was fast, wasn't it? So we're just going to give it a little stir. You stir it, Jazz, Ruby. Get that tongue in, don't be cheeky. <laughs> Right, stir it all in. Look, Ruby's doing all the work here, Jazz. Why is Ruby doing all the work and not you? Because you're too busy eating sugar, aren't you? Somebody's telling me that poor Ruby's going to do all the work and Jazz is going to do all the eating. Yeah. Right, you're doing very good there, Ruby. Go on, stir it all in. Right, you hold that bowl while Grandma goes and gets another palette knife a minute. Just oh, it. it's Daddy watching. Oh, Daddy's oh, watching. Oh, it's Daddy, Daddy under the sugar and crumbs banner. I didn't realise who was watching. <laughs> oh, Daddy's uh, watching you. I bet you're hiding now. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you're hiding now, Jasmine. Hey, she knows. She, no, oh, there she is. She knows when she's at home. She just knows. Yeah, do it with this one now, babe. Yeah, do that one. And Gillian said, it's a yeah. fabulous job, Ruby, you're doing a superb job. Yeah, so Ruby's mixing it all in. Oh, Nikki said Ruby's got fantastic hand and eye coordination for her age, and she understands the instructions incredibly. Oh, yeah, yeah, she's very clever. Yeah. Daddy not watching. Daddy is watching you, yes. Daddy is watching Daddy's you, yeah. Daddy's just told This me one's away with the fairies. This one takes interest. <laughs> so. Don't you, Ruby? Don't you, Jazz? It's no good turning your face away. <laughs> you know that you do this at Grandma's, don't you? <laughs> eh? This is when you can get all the sugar, isn't it? And chocolate. <laughs> Looks like, Daddy, it was only a teaspoon I put in each bowl. <laughs> yes, it was. We've learnt our lesson. We have. <laughs> right, let me just do that now. So then, what we do is, we get it all up into the bowl. We need a bit more. So now, we've only made a very small portion here, okay? Oh, yeah, you have, and don't worry, I'll just give you a full portion water. I was just thinking, yeah. Karen, it's very wet. Yeah, I'll give you a full portion of water. <laughs> so, um, uh, we put too much water in. It should have been 15 grams of water. So, yeah. what we did is we did a half portion. And, um, Karen, and I'm thinking it's looking very soggy, yeah. this. Uh, yeah. So, thankfully, we've got one we made earlier. Yeah. Right. So, let's put that to one side. So, what you would do now, this would be a nice thick dough like this. We'll open this and show you. 
and it would be a nice thick dough and then you'd wrap it up in cling roll, roll it into a ball wrap it up into cling film and then put it in the fridge for a few um, about 20 minutes okay but um karen's just got a measurements a little bit muddled up what's on the recipe sheet no it's not it's because i've done your half mix i've done your full mix of water i forgot i'd done half mix of, of yeah. pastry on the on the recipe sheet is full mix it says 30 grams of water yes, yes. so that should have been 15 it grams of water 15, yeah right okay i forgot i'd measured half flour and half right. margel right give me that back ruby brilliant so what we can do is we'll have to pin that one <laughs> unless karen can sort out the rest of it well i'll put more margin flour in our yeah it. exactly yeah. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Right, okay, so we've now got our pastry. So we're going to get Ruby and Jasmine to do some more work. We're going to do this. Bobby, yep. age three, is watching you. Crick Griffin says, Bobby loves watching you cook on Thursdays and they've received their lovely order today. Ah, fantastic. So Bobby's watching you as well. Right, right, just a minute, Ruby. Ruby, Ruby. Just hang on a minute. So we've got to, we've got to divide this into three and Grandma cut it into two. So we've got to divide it into three. And that's about three, I think. My live is 11 o'clock tomorrow, so I don't, um, I don't know why it Half says 11. 10. Half 11, it says 10 o'clock. Oh, right. Was that my fault? Did I write 10 o'clock? <laughs> Karen's live. I thought I wrote 11.30. 11, I, I always go for my 11.30 on a Friday, unless we've got a tutor in. 11.30 on a Friday and 11.30 on um, Monday. Mondays. But it could well have been that Terry was using last week's template, so and it had Doe's time on. She might have just swapped over. First Friday, is it? Every Friday, yeah, past 11. Friday. Yeah, but oh, it could Chris. be my. I might have wrote Chris it wrong. says, Bobby says, hello, girls. Yeah. Right, so now we've got our dough. Okay, so Jasmine, can I just move you over the way and let Ruby do hers in a minute? And Daddy won't see you eating the sugar. You're going to sell that in a minute. Sneak over there. Can you come back? <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. That's a sugar thing. Where's that jasmine gone? <laughs> exactly. Right, Karen, do we need to grease these? No. Nope. We don't need to grease nope. them? Right, nope. okay. So we're going to get our rolling pin, Ruby. Get your rolling pin. Okay. And what's this, Karen, for? Which one? That, no, there, you don't, there's your, there's your. Oh, okay, there it is. So on our pink board, when you're doing it for the sugar paste, you don't actually need to put anything down. But because dough is very sticky, we need to just sprinkle a little bit of flour. Now I've got to be honest, I've never made this recipe before, so I'm having to ask Karen to help me. So uh, I feel really deprived. I don't even know if my kids have had them. They did have school meals at school. I'll have to ask them, did you have corn flake tarts, Wes? There's an answer. <laughs> right, Ruby. Oh, you're doing very well there, Ruby. You started without grandma, didn't you? Wow, look at you! So roll it like that, Ruby. She's right into it. Oh, you are clever. Yeah, you do mine, I'll do yours now. You carry on. Because you got it started for me, haven't you? Yeah, so make it a bit better. Oh, that's a Ruby! You're flying! You're flying, girl! <laughs> wow, you're flying. Make it a bit bigger. Wow, you know what you're doing, don't you? Did Daddy show you how to do that as well? Well, we've got a pastry chef in the making there. Right, so let me give you this one back, I'll swap you. Right, so what I want you to do, see this cutter? So I want you to cut it out. And so you is, take all the edges this is off. six inch oh, size. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, let's push it round, six inch. This is so a six inch push. size out of the So take this off. You take all that round. Go round there, Rube. Get it round the edges. Wow, You're there right, you go. Tracy, look at a, that. A little chef, she's brilliant. Wow, look at that. I want to do it. Oh, no, we don't want it anymore now. Wait a minute. You can do this one now. So you do that one. You're not doing anything today, Mrs. We need a bit of sugar. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A bit of flour. Yeah, that's what we need. A bit of flour. Hey, you're not doing anything today, you. Where did we put that ring, Jazz? Ruby, where did you put that Over ring? Over there by your coat pan. <laughs> where did I put it? <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> where did Grandma put the ring? Sorry. You see the look she gives you, isn't it? <laughs> right. Where are you going? Just in a minute, you're getting down. So, we're going to put this in the tin. So, Ruby. Ruby, so push this in this in. So push in. So what I'm going to do is, what you do is you get a little bit of ball of pastry. Yeah, so a little bit of ball of pastry. 
and then you just push it in so that you don't poke any other holes in it yeah so just push it round there you go are we out of stock of the uh, peony tins now? The they're arriving. Circle, they're arriving. To... Ooh, I don't know whether I ordered any more on the next order. If I didn't order any more on the next order, I'll be ordering some. But peonies arriving tonight. Well, these are super, these uh, circle cutters. We've got the, there's 19 different sizes in there. Yeah. If, um, if, I, if I haven't got any in this next order, because I just ordered that order separately. I'll, um, Ruth, Jasmine, are you going to come and roll yours out or are you going to sit there with Karen? What are you doing? Get that finger out your mouth. Where are you going? Are you going around there to do some right. work? Give us that one. Get around there and get some work done. Right, you wait there. Leave that there and I'll, I'll, I'll hold it for you till you come you back. You wait there. Right, Jasmine, look <laughs> Ruby, I'm going to give you a job. So I want you. So wait a minute, so Ruby's got to do this now, so yeah. just do that in each of them. Right, give your hands a wash on, you, on your hands. There's rack. your cloth. Yeah. There you go. On your cloth. On your cloth. On your cloth. I won't let her bring the sugar back with her. I know. <laughs> we only have cloths in the kitchen. I've hijacked it. Very good. Right, all the way round, Ruby. Look at you, Ruby. Wow. Right, okay, a bit over there. There we go. Right, a bit over there. Right, that's that one done. Wow. Thank you. And do a bit more on here. Right, not, try and do it in different places. That's it, do it nice and gentle. Don't stab it, just push it, push it in different places. Yep, so where you can't see any holes. Right. Yep, go on, put some there. That's it. They're very impressed with you, so Ruby. Everybody, all the kids like this bit the best. Right, so Ruby, we're going to let Jasmine roll those out. Do you want to go and sit on Karen's knee for a second? No, no you, you stay, stay there. You go stay there and right. watch. Can I just put... Yeah, let me just... Right, Jazzy, come over here a minute. I'm going to give you your sugar, I'm just going to move you over. Come over here, Jazz. Come. Quick, 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 jump off, quick, quick, quick. Right, Ruby, there's your sugar. Good, good, good. Right, Jazzy, so you've got to show everybody now that you can roll yours out. Roll yours out. Mm. Right, roll it out. Hey, you've got to do some work, you. You haven't done any work yet. Angela Black says so she used to have this at school. Eh? Angela Black Did you? I've school. never had it, I've yeah. never even heard of it. Till you lot said last week, I said to Karen, Cornflake tarts, what's cornflake tarts? <laughs> and she said, Oh, we used to make them at school all the time, kids loved them. We're like, What? The I big, only knew the cornflake. Um, the, the big serving tins, it loads of you know, the, the pound of pastry at a time. Yeah, it out, it's 24. <laughs> right, let's make this into a circle, Rick Jazz. So go that way now. So let me just put some more flour down on here a minute. There we go. Yeah, so the pastry is quite wet. Does that sugar taste nice? Do you like it? Oh, it is nice. It's the orange, isn't it? Mmm, got my wipe her hands. Oh, you're doing a good job there, Jazz. Oh. Oops. Right, let's go a bit that way. Let's turn it round so we we'll go a bit round that way. Because we want to stretch it this way now. Yeah, we've got a very <laughs> we've got a very mixed audience. We've got some who said, oh, they loved it. It's Carol Gatton, this son's favourite. Yeah. And Andrew said, you never live, Carol. I've never, well, to be fair, I have to say, I shared one. I came in before, I was at work this morning, and I came in and Karen had a bit of the cornflake mix left. So I had a spoonful and then I ate the rest of it. So then um, when we came back in with the kids afterwards, Karen has pre-made four of the bases so that we don't have to wait. And she said, I would have had enough for another base if you had to scoffed it all. <laughs> so I have to say, I can understand why you like it. Right, Ruth, Rich, has it? Come on, you're going to cut this out. Where are you going, you? Don't be doing half a job, you. Forgot. You forgot? How That's can you do it? That's your reward if you do it. Eh? Half a job. Oh, well, wait a minute. Let's get it in the centre. There we go. Ooh. Push. Right there. So what we'll do is push that up there. Go on. Michelle said push thank you for the money box and You're sample. very welcome. I still haven't got the money boxes, so it's just as well I sent it yeah. They've still not arrived. Uh, Jess, Ruby, what are you going to do then? <laughs> Mm. Was you going to do a jasmine and stick your head in there then? No. <laughs> right, okay. So what we need to do now is... So we need to push that in. So just get a little bit of this, jazz, and just push it in gentle around there. Boom. So it all goes in. Push it all in so it goes pushed to the side. 
Have you ever thought of doing a peanut butter flavoured icing sugar? Uh, it tastes okay. horrible. Thank you. There you go, Sue. We, we've had the, we've had the flavouring in. It's minging. Sorry, I can't think of any other word than it's awful. <laughs> It's, it's just that shocking. Was straight, that was straight to the point, that yeah. Carol, wasn't it? You didn't even and to be fair, it. when you lot are thinking, I was talking to the flavour people yeah. and um, I was telling about some of your flavours and that I was asking them, because, you know, if, they, if you, when you're talking to the people who make your flavourings for you, it's always best to ask them what their top selling flavours are and what they recommended. Grandma. And I love Parma Violet. Grandma. Absolutely love Parma Violet Sweet Grandma. and Licorice. But the thought of me Grandma. and that as a cheesecake or a cake, one second, baby. Baby pop. Her head in that bowl. Did you? Didn't. No, she didn't. She didn't. She yes. did. So, <laughs> but the thought of me having licorice or parma violets on a cupcake, oh, couldn't think of Just anything worse. And the same, I couldn't, I couldn't have the same, um, I couldn't have it as a cheesecake or anything. So, and funny enough, they said the same. They said they make those flavours for drinks, for like gins and yeah. stuff like that, and for sweeties. They've never, ever, Ooh. never, ever heard of them in the cake industry. And I went through lots of flavours with them and, and exactly the same. So the thing is, the cost to buy a flavour, like I gave John the bill for five new flavours that are going to be produced. And John nearly had heart failure because like, normally we only buy two new flavours at a time. And then we try and make a flavour as well out of the flavourings that we've got. And um, he nearly had heart flavour. He said, do we really need these five? <laughs> And I went, yeah, we do. <laughs> and then we tested them and the warehouse tested them. And Laura, Laura just went home with the lot yesterday, yeah. Laura and Karen. Yeah. So they love them. They are really nice and new flavours yeah. we're going to bring out. Really good. And I want to start putting them through the whipping it up range as well. Once a month, do the whipping it up range with them as well. So they are lovely. Right. So we're not going to wait for these now. So what you have to do with these, if you put, if you put little fork prints in them, you don't need to put any beans or, um, you know, the cold, what are they called? Those, um, so like baking beans, yeah, baking like beans. You don't need to put any of them in, you just put the fork in, and then you stick that in the in the oven. And um, Ruby, could you use your finger, please? What's all this on your eyebrow? Mm. Can, you tell the, <laughs> can you tell where the bowl was? Um, you, so we're gonna let this is blind bake, bake. Yeah, I told you, look at yours. Where's all yours gone? So, anyhow, thankfully, we've done some earlier, or Karen has. Mm. So, there we go. So let me get my cloth. Jazzy, what's going on? Mm -hmm. Okay. What's going on? <laughs> right, so we're now going to make the inside bit. So we've got our bowl here, okay, and we're going to melt our butter first. So I'm just going to read the instructions first. So the cornflake tart filling. So while the pastry cases are in the oven, but ours are already made to save time, melt the butter and the icing sugar and the gold. So melt the butter, icing sugar and golden syrup in a large bowl in the microwave. Right, who's coming back to finish this? I'm going to brush you. I'm going to brush you. Do you know what that is? Icing sugar up your nose. Is that what it is? Because you've had the bowl over your face. Right, where's your cloth? <laughs> <laughs> right, dry your face. Right, who's going to come and do this bit? Are you coming to do this bit, Ruby? Right, so you come back here. Let me bring the table over. Oh, we don't want Ruby falling on the floor again. So we realised what happened. We forgot to put the carpet under the stands last week. Last, last week. Okay. So what you're going to do is, so this floor is, um, it's a Cardine floor, but these plastic chairs slip and I forgot to put the carpet on last week. Hence, when Ruby went, she went one way. But she liked it. She watched herself on YouTube, <laughs> didn't you? Didn't you watch it on YouTube about you? Jazzy. <laughs> right. That was for the, put the butter in. That was for the butter. <laughs> <laughs> you put the butter in. Ruby's doing all the hard work today. So, Ruby, is that all of them? So, we're only making half a mix. So, the actual mix, for the ingredients for this, for the mix, you would have 33 grams of unsalted butter. Is that right? Or was that half a mix? That's right. No, that's, you, that, that's exactly right what you're doing. What yes, I know, but what you've wrote on here. I just need to talk to Karen yeah. about the recipe. No, because I made a full cornflake mix before it was too much. So I said to you, I was halving the cornflake mix. So what's mix. on the recipe website? Exactly that. That's right. It's correct. Yeah, but the plain flour, it said 30 mils of cold, cold water, which is what you've got written on there. Yeah, that's right. But you said you put 30 in. I did, because I hadn't realised. I said to you, I was going to make you a little mix. So you only had 90 grams of, uh, of flour and sugar together rather than the 180 grams. But you said this is the mix that I'm following. You are. But, no, <laughs> you weren't following. No. The are you is, confused? Because I, I am. No, so, Karen, all I'd like to know is, is, is this the full recipe? Yes. 
So this is the full recipe yes. to make four tarts, okay? To make three. It, to make three, three or four tarts, tarts yes. okay, depending how far you roll your sugar yes. and stuff. Yes. Um, but Karen's halved all of it, so. No, I haven't. I only, the only thing I have In today was your pastry because you didn't want to make a full batch of pastry again. That's the only thing that I have. But I've been a bit dark, you were doing half the cornflakes, she said to me. That's because I made a full mix and it was too much for the three spring form tins. Yes, so I, know. I have. So what are we making now? Three spring form tins. You follow that one, that is exactly right. Okay. <laughs> exactly right. We've got this. Do any of you feel confused? <laughs> So we need that then. So then we need here, we need the um, 68 grams of golden syrup. 68 grams, that's a funny amount. So get your spatula, Ruby, and push it out. You can have more. You're not having any, you're not having any more sugar. Show them how you've cleaned that bowl. Come on, show them. Look, she's cleaned that bowl. <laughs> that's it, not having any more. Ruby's doing all the work here. <laughs> Michelle's laughing, this is what it's like when my family get together. <laughs> That's how close Karen is. She's like friggin' family. It's like having my sister in here. I tell you. Right, do you want Grandma to help you with that last bit? Oh, thanks, Anna. She understood. Did she? Yeah. Right, then we're gonna... So, Ruby, you put that icing sugar in there. Put the icing sugar in. So you tip that in. Well, there you go. Jasmine, I think you've got every bit out there, love. I think you have. Can I just borrow your... Oh, I've got a spatula here. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to get every little bit of the syrup out. So it's great if you've got one of these little spatulas because it really helps. Oh, I've just put it on... Oh, you can lick that, Ruby. Quick, lick it. Me want to lick some. Go on, lick it. Lick, lick it off your hands, Ruby. It's fine. Me want to lick some. Right, you can have that then. You can have that. That was okay. Oh. Does it taste nice? Yeah, that tastes nice. Okay. Pardon? Oh, is it on there as well? Well, let me get that off then. And then you two can lick the spoons. Right, yeah. Yeah, Ruth, Chas. You can have that spoon. Right, Grandma's now going to put this in the microwave. How long have we put this in the microwave for, Karen? Until it melts. I said, do it on 30 second blast, but be very aware it can get very hot. Right, okay. So I'm going to just put it in the microwave. Do you want to press the button? You press the button then. Does it taste good, that? Right, Grandma's going to go and get... she got a clean one here for that. Or did Jasmine have that one before? Oh, clean one. Hey, you two only come to let the bowls out, don't you? Hey. You two only come, you're the only arrived to let the bowls out. You do? <laughs> you get nice. Does it, is it nicer? Do you want to tell everybody how nice it is? Is it yummy, yum, yum? Yeah, is it yummy, yum, yum, Rube? So do you think all the other kids should make this as well? So wait a minute, just got to get this out here. So we've just got it over there. It's melting. So can you see, it's melting, but Grandma's got to put it back in the microwave just a little bit longer. Look at that, Rube. All your mixing. Can I have a little try? No, no, can't have a try this. This is hot. This is very hot. When it cools down, you can have a try. So, children, don't put your fingers in this when it comes out the microwave. It's very hot. Only the cold stuff. So, we're just going to give this 10 seconds now. So, put it on. So, grab that. Oh, wait a minute. Press it there. So, I've got a right. few people asking, are you going to spill the beans on the new flavours? Or are we going to leave it as a surprise? Um, no, I'll tell you the new flavours, to be fair. Twister, you know, the Twister Ice Lollies. Same flavour as that, we're going to use that one. Um, the Love Hearts, you know the little sherbet Love Heart Sweeties? We're going to do that one. But, and they taste amazing. I tell you, Laura in the office, it nearly blew her brains off yesterday. She was like, oh my God, loved it. There's um, a non-alcoholic drink that we're going to do as well, which is... Um, so what have they called it, Karen? Passion fruit martini. Yeah, so we've called it a passion fruit martini because it has a rude name when you're in the bar, but there's no alcohol in it. There's no alcohol, but it's the one where you get the uh, the passion fruit on the top and you get the shot of Prosecco with it when you're in the cocktail bar. Yeah. So we're going to do that one. We're doing a, a non-alcoholic mojito. Now it's different, it's an improved flavour from the last mojito we did. Now I really nice. did like the last mojito, but I do prefer this one, if I'm honest. But do remember, the, there's no alcohol in these. So when you don't, 
I, I always makes me laugh when I people when people go, well, it doesn't taste like my house sitting mojito to me or gin and tonic. Well, what do you just whacked it in with a load of icing sugar so it never would and two is a non-alcoholic version so we're going to bring that one out again I think that's the one that John was crying over the most like oh really so um and then the other one is um it's dragon fruit and mango now I don't know whether to call it dragon fruit and mango because I don't like dragon fruit but I probably tell you it was my best flavor so just hold on a minute now what I'm going to get you to do Rube so see these cornflakes you pour the cornflakes in now in, all of them. Right, now you mix it. So you mix, room. So dragon fruit and uh, mango. The reason, right, don't put your fingers in either, Ruby, will you? Just stir it. So the reason we're not going to cut, I'm not sure what to call it, because dragon fruit would probably put me off buying it. And I know when it came in, I was like, top that dragon fruit. But I have to say it's amazing. It is so it's amazing. Fruity. It's gorgeous. So it? I don't know whether to call it tropical fruit or um, like a, a mango surprise or something. I really don't know what to call it. So if you can think of some names, start thinking of them because mango we're going to have to get. Hello? Mango dream. Yeah. <laughs> think of some names because we're going to have to yeah. get the labels made next week. Right. Have you got a sticky face there now? Oh. Jasmine. It's a good job you have a bath every night, isn't it? Right. Keep stirring, Ruby. Keep stirring. Mix it all in. Right, let's get them out of the way because they're dirty. All in, all around the sides. Can you feel how warm it is, Ruby? Put your hands underneath. Feels nice and warm, doesn't it? Hey? Right, have you had a look at that? Debbie, it's... Debbie, the, the mango, it, I wouldn't have said it was... It's, it's, it's more fruity than anything. It's mm. really nice. It's it, delicious. It, it took us by surprise. It, it did take me by surprise because I'm not a, I'm right, not a big mango fan myself. Yeah, that's fine. Right. So let's. Um, is that. Wait a minute, Grandma, get another clean one. Don't put that back in the bowl because you've got one in your mouth. You keep that one a minute. Right. Okay, just hold on a minute now. Right. Okay. So, we've got okay. the ones that we've made earlier. Ooh. Ooh. So, they, they, they don't go in the oven anymore now, do they, Karen? Oh, do they? Right, okay, so we've got three of these now. Then we need to get the jam out. So, if you want to ever make your own jam, Karen's shown you how to make a um, jam. But we've just bought this. Just wait a minute, I'm going to get, get the spoon. Let's get the spoon. Okay, so we're going to get the spoon, get a spoonful of jam. Jazzy, in a minute you do a spoonful of jam in here. So a spoonful of jam in there, Rube. When can I lick? Never mind licking you, get a spoonful of jam in there. Christina says she's eating mango now and how cute is your little helpers? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Ruby's working the hardest, look. Right, there you go. Yeah. Right, that's enough, done, done. Right, can you spread it? I think we've got far more jam than what we actually need. <laughs> a teaspoonful, but you know, the kids. I think these are jam. now becoming jam tarts. <laughs> <laughs> so make it all the way round, Ruby. Stick it so it goes in there. So it goes all the way round, Jasmine. So push it into there as well, Ruby. Yeah, push it all the way round. Stephanie says, yeah. your dragon fruit and uh, your dragon fruit and mango. Call it Drango. <laughs> 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 My thing is, is that hobby crafts tend to take the flavours as well, so I need to let them be able to know that they're like it. And the other trade take it as well, so it needs to have to appeal to everybody. Like you lot who are watching with us, you have a sense of humour and you get it. But we have to think about all the people who don't watch us, who don't know it. So we need to just have a think about that name. Not of the side, babe, just in the pastry. Mango Tropical, Mango Sunshine. Yeah. Yeah. They're all coming in. Well, I was thinking Tropical Mango, not Mango Tropical, Tropical Mango. But... um. But then somebody in the office said, well, won't they expect pineapple in it? And it hasn't got pineapple in it. Right, Ruby, push it round the sides. You've done yours there. Uh, good girl, Jazz. Good girl. Right, do you want Grandma just finish it off for you a minute? There you go, Ruby. Nikki said it's always better to have too much than too little. Yeah, absolutely. Go on. <laughs> oh, you nearly got it in the sides there, Ruby. Have you got all yours in the sides? Hey, are you eating a spoon, you? Sugar fix you are, aren't you? Right. Right, what about that bit over there? Come on. So go on and push it over there. 
That's it. You want to go and watch? Right, go and watch them with Karen. Debbie says, have we decided on the brand name for the Wonder Dust? Yes, it's called Wonder Dust. She wants to get started on her jingle. It's called Wonder Dust. <laughs> it's called Wonder Dust as one word. Capital D, uh, capital W, capital D as one word. And uh, we're just getting a logo made at the moment. So I don't know who came up with that, but I like that one straight away. I have to like it straight away. If I pause, this is my rules in life. And this is how I look at everything. If I pause and I've got to think about it, it's not happening. So, and then it's the same when I have a conversation with somebody. Yes, baby. You can let that one, yeah. And it's the same when I ask somebody a question. If they pause, especially when it's a direct question and they pause, then I know they're lying. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't tend to believe what they're saying then. Right, okay, right. So we're going to get all the licky ones out of the way. Oh, you're so good. Right. So, Ruby, I'm going to show you your next job. So, ooh, did that taste nice, that? So, let's take the dirty ones out of the way. Uh, if you're wondering where Jasmine's gone, she wants to watch instead. So, Ruby, Grandma's going to do one. So, let's get all the cornflakes, make sure they're all in. So, we're going to get the cornflakes now. I'm going to put them in there. Go on, you start it. There's a spoon there. You do this one. And hello to everyone on our YouTube. Oh, hi, YouTubers. From Jill Cook. From who, Jill Cook? Okay. Hey, that's Simon's fan, that. <laughs> <laughs> He's devastated if she's not there. <laughs> so we're just going to put plenty of this in. In fact, I think we'll have enough. We're not going to make these very deep. We might have enough. Just hold on, Ruby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to get you to do some more jam. Let's do the fourth one. Hold on, hold on. Put the spoon back in there, Ruby. Because we've got a sneaky one here. We have. We'll put this on the tray. Yeah, Tracy, you could eat that alone without the pastry because Carol said it was very nice this morning. Oh, it was. I, I uh, See that? I came into that this morning. <laughs> so I came in from work this morning. Karen had that there. So I just had a little taste and before you knew it, I'd ate the lot. So this is clean. So let's just uh, put the jam in. Right, you spread the jam about. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to make sure it's a bit of a pile. Can I have a bit more? Can I have a bit more jam? Okay. Lynn says, Ruby is doing great. She loves it, yeah. She doesn't, she doesn't like waving or saying hello to anybody. Well, who was it then? But she was likes the doing the work. You like working in the kitchen, don't you, Ruby? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right, so is there any more children watching that we need to say hello to? Is Viv, uh, is Viv watching Melissa today or is she at work? Because she only has a grandson work watching. So do we need to say hello to anybody else? Who's going to make these so easy? But mummy and dad, mummy or daddy has to do the microwave bit, okay? Right, so Ruby, we've got enough there, haven't we? So we'll get rid of them. So Ruby, fill it up with cornflakes. Let me just push the jam over that, there a minute. <laughs> So get the cornflakes, Ruby. In that one, yeah. That's it. So we've got the old cornflakes. Is it Max, her little grandchild? Yes, yeah. but it's your Viv's, Viv's what, I don't know if she's got Max with her. Viv's watching and Ruby is a proper little star baker. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Ruby. Oh, you've nearly got them all. Get the rest of them out of the bowl, Ruby. Doing a good job there. I think I'm going to. Have, that's my. That's my little new assistant, though. Yeah. Aren't you, Ruth? Yeah. So I would say, considering I've never tasted these before, Ooh. I'm addicted. So I would say definitely get them made. Wait a minute. I'm going to give them you in a minute. Let me get these because I'm going to give you and Jasmine a spoon each. Lindsay's going to go and get Talia from school. She's going to show yeah. us when she gets home. So she wants to make some. Absolutely. They're lovely. Right. Oh, Max, is, Max is running around today. Yeah. He's, I think he's doing a jasmine. Is he? <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. Right, yeah, Jasmine, here's yours. So any bits over, go to the kids, that's Jasmine's. Do you want it? No. What's wrong with you? Are you poorly? Hey? I think she'll be down. Or is it because it's cereal, it's just a right. bit too So that should be in a little pan, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick it on top of the oven. So these are gonna go in the oven now for five minutes. Five minutes, is it Karen? Yes. So hold on. Where are you going now? Oh. 
And what temperature is this fan? It's on 160 degrees, which is 180, uh, 160 degrees fan, which is 180 degrees, uh, 350 Fahrenheit, I think it is, gas mark 4. There we go. Is that now, Drew? Yes. So I'll put the timer on, five minutes, so I don't forget. We're going to clean the spoon. Pardon? Is that good? Right, so tell everybody what does it taste like. Is it, is it a thumbs up or a thumbs down? Yay! Two, thumbs up. One. Do you know what, Janie? I'm, I, I don't see why you couldn't make these with Rice Krispies. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, they, it's just cereal. I don't see yeah. why you could make them with Rice Krispies because you say that's all she has rather than muesli. Yeah, so, no, yeah. absolutely. It just might, it'll just probably take a little bit more rice well, crispy than cornflake. And I wouldn't know anyhow because at uh, the first time I tried them. So anyway, we're going to get them back over, cut them up for you. you going back over there now? Are you going to come over here, Jasmine, while we cut them up? No, no, you know you stay Are you having there, Jasmine? She doesn't want that one. Stay do you want there. it? Do you, sure you do? do you want this before I give it to Ruby? Yes. Eh? Sweet. Oh, she's back. I knew she'd come back for it. Sweet food. Eh? <laughs> Sweet food. Come on, come on. Right. Oh, Gillian said, give me thumbs that. up for Ruby. She's got to make them now. Oh, oh. Yes. Yeah, you can give that to Jasmine. Yeah, go for a minute, Jas. Come here. Right, on there. Oh, that's a good sister. So that's a good sister. Ruby, I give a thumbs up for everyone to go make them. But... Well, you I don't want it. it. Oh, well, you have it then. Come on, do you want it? Come on, Ruby, I do it. So. So they said thumbs up from Ruby means they've all got to go and make them. Ruby, do you think they're nice? Do you think everybody should make them? Yeah. So we was asking the children this morning what was their favourite cakes that they made. What was your favourite cakes that you made, Jasmine? Butterfly. Butterfly cakes. And what was yours? Was it rainbow? Yeah. So Ruby liked the rainbow cakes, and Jasmine liked the butterfly, didn't you? Yeah, but they've still let everything they've taken out. <laughs> so, shall we get the knife and cut these and show everybody what they look like inside? Does that taste nice, that spoon, Rube? Mm. Right, because Karen and Carol, Carol, Karen and Grandma's having one of these with a cup of tea after. <laughs> yes. So, let's get the knife. Where's the knife? Oh, one second. And thanks to Michelle. Tea all day. Oh yes, <laughs> really Look happy. At this. <laughs> I tell you, I had mine last night. When we did, we did them last night, and I was working till I think I was working till about half ten, eleven o'clock last night, and it was still hot. And then, because um, I've got plastic ones of these, but they don't stay as hot in the plastic ones, yeah. do they? And then um, this morning I took one to work, and then it lasted in work. And then Karen's made me this just fresh before the live. But that's what happens. We get a fresh one before the live, and then it's cold by the time we're done. And we're going to put that in the bin, I think, because we didn't we, we didn't need it now. So, should we cut this now and show them all what it looks like? So you put listen you, to the crunch, everybody. Right. So, wow! Look at that. Does that look good? Look at that. Have a look. Let's set Terry see. Watch your fingers. fingers. Wait a minute. Don't bite that <laughs> one yet. Just show it them. Under under the camera, Jazz. Can you see? Ooh. Look at that. So we're going to cut them in half again. Michelle, they'll be brilliant to do with your boys. Just, yeah. as as if, just you melt the butter yeah. and the syrup and the sugar together and right, then let you them do, do the mixing. Right. They'll be absolutely so put, love yeah, it. put your hands on there. There you go. Right. Take that knife off then. And they are delicious. With, we always serve them with custard at school. So I they are lovely with custard, but they are also, they're also I great as a tray eat. bake. You can eat it now, yeah. I can eat it. You can eat it. Them. Yeah, you showed them now, so you can show them eating it, can't you? So do you think they should make them? Are they very easy to make? Just, just me. Just me. Just. What are you hiding for? She knows her dad's watching. She's going to make them with her granddaughter Grace. Oh, you should make them, I have to say. I have to say, whoever it was who mentioned it last week, well done. And it's really funny as well, because I was up to, I was, like I think I was thinking I was working till 11. What time did I send you an email? 11 o'clock last night. Yeah. yeah, and then I thought, oh my God, I don't know what we're making with the kids tomorrow. And Karen goes to uh, get the shopping and she said, don't forget to email me for the ingredients. So I sent her an email, then I thought, oh, I wonder if she's got it. And I went, sorry. And I sent her a text message. <laughs> she's got it then. What are you two doing under there? Eh? Right, we're going to say goodbye to everybody now. Should we come and say goodbye? Come on. Bye. Bye.
Yeah. <laughs> Come round here and stand up and say bye. Stand up Come on your stool and say bye to the people away. You stand up. So Grandma's going back this. Are you, gonna are you bite... looking in my mouth? Are you going to bite yours? Give me are a you smile. You're looking in my mouth. <laughs> Rubes. Right. Rube. Give me Good. a smile. Give Karen a smile. Is this mine? That's yours, that one. Give, Give me a Karen smile. smile. Jasmine, give Karen a smile. Let me go and get these out of the microwave out of the oven a minute. Show me what you're eating. Oh, lovely. I can't believe you remember to put the timer on. Eh? I can't believe you remember to put the timer yeah. on. Our <laughs> Laura was making some last week and forgot all about them after me. What was she making last week that I left in? Was it whoopie pie? Yeah. Whoopie pies and um, biscuits, pinwheel biscuits. Yeah, she was good enough. Jazz. Is it nice? Everyone's just wearing. Is it a nice smile? Just give us a nice smile. Right, so there they are. All nice and ready. Now these are hot, so don't let the children touch these till they cool down. All right, don't touch them because they're very, very hot. We're just gonna look at them. That's yeah, just look at them with your eyes. Cause, 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 put your hands over there. They're very hot. Just put your hands over. Oh, Can you God. feel how hot? Yeah. yeah. See how hot it is. So you mustn't touch them. So should we say thank you to everybody for joining us? Well, they've all said they've had an amazing afternoon. Well done, girls. Ruby, you've worked really hard. You've done all the work today, haven't you, yeah. Ruby? And what's that Jasmine doing? I think Jasmine's just been testing it, haven't you, Jasmine? Have you just been eating sugar and going watching the live? She's been watching the live with Karen round there. So thank you for joining us. We're going to be back in the kitchen tonight, 7 o'clock with Karen Davies. She's going to be here doing a demo on the new mould, which is a Nordic um, mould. And um, she's going to be using all her Easter moulds as well. So I'm going to be updating the stock. 7 o'clock? Did I say 7 o'clock? <laughs> 8 o'clock, somewhere between the 8 and quarter of us. The thing is, who does clap for the heroes? Because I go out there and do clap for the heroes at 8 o'clock, but where I live, there's only me here. So I don't hear anybody else. But I was talking to somebody else, and they do hear everybody in their street. So what's a good time for you? 8 or quarter past, because it doesn't matter to us. So um, it's really up to you. So it's one of those times, so we'll see how we go. But if you put on here what suits you, we'll go with the majority, what it is. 8 or quarter past. But I just feel that I'm clapping on my own to the load of bushes out the side. <laughs> Simon laughs his head off every Thursday. He goes, why are we still here? Did it when, we did it when we did it for um, Clap for the NHS. Just me and Simon out there with tins just by ourselves. I think so. they said, um, I, don't know if, I don't know if I'm something that could be right here. I'm sure last week was the last time they were clapping. Oh, was it? Them. I'm sure right. it was last week was the well, last time. Well, if that time. was the last time, we're going to start yeah. at 8 o'clock. Um, yeah. What are you doing? Can I have another one? Can you have another one? Yeah, there you go. We're all laughing, saying seven o'clock. Oh, did I say <laughs> seven o'clock? That's why I looked very shocked at you. I said some of the other day, and I think I meant to say February, and I said March. You said March, you did. Yeah. Pardon? I don't want this. But also, don't want a lot of people are all saying eight o'clock. Eight o'clock, well, we'll see you at eight o'clock then. Number so we. One. Yes. That's mine. You have mine, eh? We've got to cut that one up. <laughs> she comes with the Right, you have mine. Are we going to save a bit for Grandad? <laughs> And a bit for Terry and a bit for Karen. We'll be lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, what I was going to say to you, we'll see you at 8 o'clock. And she's going to use her Easter moulds as well as oh, her Nordic right. no moulds. So it's going to be for a great night. I've got a top-up stock, so I'll do that just before we go live. All right then. Girls, give Karen a big smile and say goodbye to everybody. Can you say bye-bye to everyone? Bye-bye. Bye. See you next week. Bye. bye. bye.